with us today and for being willing to, to film. And for some people, film, it just feels weird and a little bit intimidating. But I know that this is going to be an encouragement um, for folks. And I wanted to hear, um, or for everybody to be able to hear about, what, what was it like when you first um, began to experience uh, prophetic spiritual gift of prophecies, prophetic gifting? Uh, what, was it like in, what was it like in the beginning? And what was the circumstance that first showed you that um, this was something this was something that was for you? Well, to start early on, I wasn't exactly sure what the gift was. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, I was first mostly introduced to it um, through Wind of the Spirit and we did the Healing Academy uh -huh. Ministries and um, went to that. And, you know, I have developed over the years, a you know, a pretty powerful prayer life, you mm -hmm. know, and I'll... And I'll pray and I'll hear from God, you know, certain things. And I'm like, okay, that's, you know, I'll pray that way, you know. Mm -hmm. And so I learned some from um, a while ago back in the church. We did uh, Christ Care Ministries. And so okay. I was a Christ Care leader. And we did a lot of training, right. you know, on that, on prayer and how to pray, pray for people. And so in that, I started to, you know, understand better about prayer and okay. learn uh, how to pray for people and how to listen. That was right. the biggest thing is how to listen. And so that's when I would start to hear things. And I wasn't sure about them, though. I will be uh -huh. honest, because I was like, I would be praying for someone. And, you know, it was a difficult situation in their life, in their marriage, and with their kids. And, uh -huh. and I swore I heard the Lord say, you need to tell them they're going to have two more children. And I'm like, uh, what I'm hearing. Very specific. Yes, very specific. <laughs> and I'm like, what I'm hearing in my mind about the situation that I don't think that's right, Lord. I mean, I, you know, and, but I kept hearing it, but I was not confident that that was the Lord. Very so cautious. Very, very cautious. Abundance of caution. Abundance of caution, because that's a big thing. <laughs> and I was like, I wasn't sure what that meant. And this was before I had taken the Healing Academy and I had uh -huh. learned about the different gifts. So before the, the focus training. Before the thickest awesome. training. Okay. And so I was like, mm, nope, not going to say that. I'm not, <laughs> not going to say that because that, I'm not sure that's from the Lord. Because okay. um, there are times when you're praying, you're like, is that my subconscious telling them what right. they want to hear? Or mm -hmm. is that me hearing what the Lord has for this person? So so I remember that one going, yep, nope, nope, <laughs> not, not going to say that. Um, so it was a little later that I had, you know, done the... The healing ministry and i'd learned about you okay. know, what these different gifts are and how mm -hmm. they might manifest themselves yeah that i went oh well maybe that maybe that was a word from the lord i okay i don't know for sure um and then you know over time in church and through worship you know i would i would feel the lord's leading me to you know write something down so i started okay. writing them down um mm -hmm. and i'd write them down and then with all things i think um it really helps if you have a mentor. Okay. Um, and so the first time that that happened in a service, and I felt the Lord was telling me something, I wrote it down, you mm -hmm. know, one of the prayer cards. Document. And I went, hmm. I'm like, what am I supposed to do with this? I'm like, okay, what did you learn from Audrey and Larry Eddings about this? What should, what did you learn? And I remembered, okay, well, they said, if you have a word that comes, um, and it comes in a service, it needs to be in order. So you need to find out first, pray whether you think it's for the body, everybody okay. who's there, if it's just for you, or if it's for one other person, right. you know? So so I stopped and I prayed, and I'm like, okay. But you know, my stomach was hurting, and my heart was <laughs> racing, and I'm like shaking this piece of paper in my hand. <laughs> and I was like, okay, no, this is, uh, this is too much, I can't do it. <laughs> By praying and then like doing it, and and I was actually sitting in the back of the church, um, and Audrey and Larry often sat back there too, right. and I kind of looked back at her, and she's looking right at me. <laughs> so, so if those of you who remember Audrey, you know she's looking right at me with her eyes going, mm -hmm. and I'm like, Ugh. I'm like, no, she's like, so I hand it back to her, and she reads it, and she nods, and she said yes, and I was like, now what do I do? She's like, you. You walk up to the top <laughs> of the church and you give it to the pastor and you say, I think that this is to be shared okay. with the congregation. Um, and I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to do this. And she goes, I think you need to do that. Well, I will admit I didn't do it that first time. Okay. I didn't. I was I was too right. shy, too 
it was too new. I was too um, nervous about uh -huh. it. Um, even with a mentor right there who I trusted okay. to say that this, I think this <laughs> is it. I just couldn't do it. And um, after service, she was a little disappointed with me. She's like, um, you know, that was for some that was for somebody in this congregation to hear. And I said, I, I just couldn't do it. And so she did tell me a story about okay. her time. And she said she was up in front of a, you know, a group of people and she was she was praying for them and she felt she had a word. But she's just like, I'm not sure it's for these people. And she's uh -huh. like, she's like, um, so she didn't give it. And she said that later um, someone else was coming up to pray and they said something that was basically the same thing as what she had got. And she said, often, you know, in a group setting, if you don't say it, there may be confirmation, confirmation. from someone else that will help you to trust your gift. You know, trust that what you're hearing is from the Lord and not just your subconscious or just yeah. not your mind. And I said, okay, well, well, we'll see if someone says what I said. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it, it, you know, over time, you know, it, it kind of develops, but it's, it's, it's a scary thing. Um, because you do not want to take something that you feel is from the Lord lightly. Right. Um, and you do not want to share something that is inappropriate, you know, for, mm -hmm. for a group. Um, so it, it, uh, it develops slowly. Um, and I, I vividly remember the first time I said the word out loud. We were in the, um, we were in the gym. We were okay. having service in the gym. And I don't remember exactly where it was, but... Um, um, you know, we, for some reason, there a bunch of us were standing in the back. Um, mm -hmm. and it might have been, we just didn't have enough chairs. I, I don't remember the situation, but we were standing in the back and, um, and the, it was during the, uh, worship time. Uh -huh. And, um, you know, I just felt this, this pressure come on me that you need, I needed to speak. Okay. Just, you need to speak. And I'm like, you know, because I'm like, what is it I'm supposed to speak? <laughs> and he's like, you will have the words. And I'm like, because there's nothing in my head. I, I had nothing there. And it, it did so happen that Audrey was standing back there, um, too. And and I looked at her and I said, I think I'm supposed to speak. And she goes, what are you supposed to speak? I said, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just supposed to speak. And she goes, well, then you should speak. It's a it's a musical time. You know, it was when mm -hmm. the music was playing. It was it quietly singing, mm -hmm. and said, so "She goes, I think you need to speak." And and that was my first, um, you know, verbal word in front of the, of okay. the group, corporate in front of corporate group. and group. And it, it really was just a, um, it was a reminder to the church. Um, and I hadn't started writing everything mm -hmm. down all the time this time. So, but it, it was a reminder to the church of the power of Christ mm -hmm. and the power of his blood and that he was a redeeming God mm -hmm. and that we were not supposed to be afraid. Still remember the word. I still remember the word. <laughs> and that, but that was it. Yeah. I mean, that was just, it okay. was, that was it. Yeah. And, and I was like, you know, <laughs> now what do I do? And Audrey goes, you don't do anything. This is God's, this is God's doing. I'm like, okay. But even then when I was saying it, and I, because I'm not very loud, I'm okay. relatively soft spoken. And I said, did people hear me? And she goes, oh yeah, people heard you. I'm like, what, did I say it loudly? She goes, yeah, she did. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, but what was also powerful about it is afterwards, mm -hmm. people came up and said, you know, thank you for, for sharing that. Um, and, you know, it wasn't a... It wasn't a sermon. It wasn't a diatribe. It was. It was just a short word that that I really felt the Lord said I need to speak. Okay. Um, and so that one was the first time. And afterwards, I know my hands were shaking. <laughs> and um, um, I think um, Des Hall, you know, who is yeah. my good friend, she. I think she came up to me later and she said her and Audrey were like bumping fists and like, woohoo, good job, because you know, Audrey had shared that she thought I had this gift and uh -huh. that I hadn't yet. Um, uh -huh. accepted it and used it corporately and so it was um, it was fascinating it was scary uh -huh. um, and it was uh, awe-inspiring though too that you know um, 
you know, that the Lord would use me, you know, right. use mm -hmm. to to share something that he wanted his congregation to. Bringing people into the Bringing moment. Bringing people, yeah, you know. So it was, um, so that was the first time corporately. Um, and then I think it has developed, you know, I, uh -huh. you know, I pray um, about it and I try to use discernment. There's times, um, you know, I, I think some people know that I used to do the flags uh -huh. in the church. Um, and I would do those when the Lord said, it's just, you need to do this. Just go up and do this. Um, um, and so sometimes he'd give me something, you know, to write down and say, and I'd pray about it. And, and I'd be like, that's just for me. I mean, mm -hmm. it was clear to me that that one was just for me. Yeah. Um, and there are times where um, I would pray and I wasn't sure who it was for. Okay. If it was for the whole church or if it was for... And if I wasn't sure, and if I didn't have this like um, angsty feeling that I needed to get up right. and say something, then I was pretty sure it was not for the for the whole body. Mm -hmm. So I tried to develop discernment about those things which I was supposed to share, and those things which were for me or for just you know a smaller group. Mm -hmm. um, and you know that takes time, and again mentoring. Mm -hmm. um, the I think some of the most powerful ones, you know, came to me at home during my prayer time, and I wrote them out, and I was like, well, "Who is this for?" And um, they were for inner church groups, mm -hmm. you know, like um, administrative church groups. Um, uh, one of the ones that you know I felt the most uncomfortable with, I think, because it was a somewhat of an admonish, admonishment and somewhat mm -hmm. as a um, direction, which I was like, that was kind of scary because I was like, well, that's not my place. Mm -hmm. but, um, um, and it was, a, it was a word that I sent to the uh, staff parish committee mm -hmm. at one point. Um, and it really was a, you know, I felt it was an admonishment and a direction towards seeking forgiveness and, and getting back to a right path. Okay. And that one, I admit, was scary. Because it's like, well, hmm, uh, these are the this is the body, and these are the people who are brought forward. It's not all warm and fuzzy. Wreck. It's not all warm and fuzzy. No, the ones that are warm and fuzzy, which are you know reminders of God's power and His strength and His goodness, those ones are easy. You know, well not easy, but those ones are easier because more I think pleasant. More pleasant because everyone can understand them and everyone can feel them. Yeah. Um, but the ones that are they're more angsty uh -huh. because they have some meat to them. Mm -hmm. um, those are harder and they sometimes take a lot of prayer. Um, well, they always take a lot of prayer. But <laughs> sometimes they take a lot of prayer to convince myself that, yeah, it is what's supposed to be said. Um, and so, you know, when I have sent those, I have, I have gotten feedback most of the time, which was, we needed to hear that. Okay. It wasn't a thanks so much. Well, it was yeah. thanks in a way, but not. But that was something we needed to hear. Um, but those ones, like I said, I still kind of feel it right now in my little. Oh, yeah. Those ones were a little um, more difficult, and those ones are harder to know as well. You know? Has the gift for you been more um, more for corporate, corporate you know corporate worship gatherings groups, uh, more public, or has it been, um, or have there been more words uh, for um, individuals or, you know, just a couple people, mm -hmm. more private? Has it been more private or more of a public gift for you? No, that's a, that's a very good question. Um, I have received words for people, you know, privately. Okay. Um, and those, like I said earlier, the first one I did, I, I was afraid to give. Those, I've... Um, started to be far more comfortable and actually just give them because mm -hmm. I'm like trusting that this is what the Lord has for this okay. person. Um, and those are usually happen during prayer ministry mm -hmm. and prayer time. Okay. Um, I haven't really had those where I've been praying by myself and here's a word you need to it give to so and so, to you, you okay. know, uh, right. um, it's usually during praying sp specifically person for to person, person, person in the moment. Okay. In the moment. Um, but the other ones have been more, you know, corporate. They're for the body. You yeah. know, they felt like they were for the body. Um, so it's, I would say it's a combination, um, but I do think the, you know, the strongest ones were the ones, you know, 
for the church congregation, for the body in itself. Um, it's a, it's a difficult. I mean, when I first, when I first um, joined, you know, a more spiritual uh -huh. filled church, I was like, uh, that's that's not real. <laughs> <laughs> Just, that's just kind of out there. That's a little out there, you know. Because um, I was I was raised Lutheran, which mm -hmm. is, um, and there's a lot of you know um, strong Christians and you know who have spirit in it. But oh, yeah. we used to joke that you know it was um, God the Father and Jesus the Son and the Holy Ghost because he was dead and buried. <laughs> we used to joke that that was kind of the way some of our churches were, and so. Um, you know, the gifts of the Holy Spirit, you know, until, you know, I started going to huh? the Healing Academy and doing some of these trainings, you know, weren't foreign. I mean, I okay. read the words in the in the scripture, but the actual manifestation of them mm -hmm. was more foreign. And it's, I will admit, it's kind of scary because it's, um, it's a big responsibility. Mm -hmm. um, and um, because you do want to make sure that what you're doing and saying is consistent with God's will yeah. and what he is saying mm -hmm. and not just what you want to say or mm -hmm. what your thoughts are or what your even what my opinion or emotion about something might be um, because we all have emotions and we all have right. our ideas and then you, you really have to try and separate those out and having a mentor that was huge that was huge um, and a little scary too, because um, you know when Audrey said this is your gift and you need to start using it, I'm like, no, well, it's fine. You're here, <laughs> <laughs> and and she's like, uh, um, that did uh, that did remind me. This one might make me cry. Um, so, you know, I was praying at church um, during one of the services, and Audrey and Larry were in the back, and. Um, you know, we have the prayer shops that we get, uh -huh. and um, um, there was one there that was just, you know, looking at, I mean, I'm looking at it, and, and I got the word that said, I needed to get this, and I needed to give it to Audrey, and Audrey needed to give it to Terry, her daughter, okay. Terry Bachelor. And I'm like, I don't know why, and so I bring it to her, she goes, is this for me? The Lord said, give it to me, and I said, well, no, the Lord said that I need to give it to you, so you can give it to Terry. <laughs> And she's looking at me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, she goes, okay, well, I'll, you know, I'll get it to her and let her know. Um, and that was, it, it wasn't a month before Audrey passed away. Um, and so, wow. it, you know, looking back at it, um, you, it, 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 it felt like it was the word that Terry needs to know that the Lord has her covered and that her mother is part of her, you know, eternal family. Mm -hmm. um, and that, so it almost felt like, you know, the Lord using some of his people to remind them of their connection and that, you know, with this group, this group of body of believers, you know, at Silver Lily United Methodist Church um, are still there um, for her, even though she had moved, you know, away. Yeah. Um, and um, so some of that came to me you know, a little bit later because I was like, this is a little intimidating. I'm going to give the woman who is the mentor to me for this prophetic word this and say, this is all the Lord told me. <laughs> yeah. um, but in that, I decided I needed to be obedient, and so I did it. Um, and, you know, I think the meaning from it didn't become real until later. Uh -huh. um, and uh, so that was sad and hard 